African Wild Dog versus Dingo. Who would be a winner in a fight between these two dogs? The Dingo is best known as Australia's wild dog, yet it can also be found in Southeast Asia and other parts. According to some estimates, the Australian animals are descended from Asian dingoes, which were brought to the continent between 3 and 4,000 years ago. The African wild dog is a remarkably clever and sociable animal with a strong sense of community. Lycaon pictus is a Latin term that translates as painted wolf-like animal. The African wild dog's spotted coat is mixed in colors of brown, black, and tan, giving it a vibrant appearance. African wild dogs can be seen in savannas, arid zones, and grasslands. Body description. The dingo is a medium-sized dog that typically weighs between 28 and 52 pounds, with males being slightly heavier than females. The average male dog stands between 20 and 25 inches tall. The coat is available in many different colors, ranging from sandy yellow to red ginger, with a small fraction of dogs being black, black tan, or white. Dingoes typically have white marks on their foot, tail tip, chest, and black and white patterns. They have an incredibly lean build. However, they have pricked ears that allow them to hear well, and a bushy tail. Some traits of the African wild dog distinguish it from other canines in various ways. Despite being tall, it's the bulkiest of African canines. In East Africa, the average dog weighs between 44 to 55 pounds, while in Southern Africa, the average dog's weight is 54 to 72 pounds. When measured from the shoulder, it stands between 24 and 30 inches tall, with a body length of 28 to 44 inches and a tail length of 11 to 16 inches. Females are marginally smaller than males in size. Its bottom teeth are twisted and blade-like, a feature only found in the South American Bushdog and the Asian Dole. African wild dogs have a distinctive coat that distinguishes them from other carnivores. A thick layer of stiff bristles covers the entire animal's body, which the animal gradually loses as it grows older. No underfur is present. While each dog's body markings are distinct, most of them have a black nose with a black line that runs up the middle of their forehead. However, even though wild dogs communicate audibly, they do not display the same range of facial expressions and body language as other canids. Habitat and Environment Dingoes can be found over most of continental Australia, but they are absent from the island of Tasmania. Dingoes can be found in various habitats, including alpine, desert, grassland, woodland, and tropical climates, among others. It is fairly common to see dingo-like dogs even in suburban areas, because there are many different crossbreeds of dingo and dogs. Only a handful of dingoes are truly purebred. Wild African dogs can be found in various habitats, including savanna, pasture, and woodland. Their habitats are extremely diverse, and they have even been found at elevations as high as 18,480 feet, both in Tanzania's Mount Kilimanjaro and the scorching heat of the deserts. Morning and nighttime are the busiest times for this breed when they are super active. They prefer to rest throughout the day. Diets Dingoes are particularly active in the morning and evening when their prey is awake. They consume a range of animals, with wallaby and kangaroo accounting for the majority of their diet. According to the Wildlife Conservation Society, dingoes are carnivores that eat a wide variety of foods, ranging from insects to water buffalo. They are pragmatic feeders, and will take advantage of any situation to pursue anything from geese to lizards to rabbits to mice and rats. When chasing tiny prey, they attack alone, but when pursuing large prey, they hunt in groups. Dingoes will also search for deceased animals, or dead animal carcasses. Because Asian populations live in close proximity to human settlements, a large portion of their diet consists of domestic garbage, such as fruits, cooked rice, and other table leftovers. The African wild dog is classified as a hypercarnivore, which implies that it consumes a diet that contains more than 70% meat. Packs love to hunt antelope, but they will also take wildebeest, rodents, warthogs, and birds if they can get their hands on them. Different hunting approaches will be used according to the target prey. Trying to sneak up on the flock and then pursuing an individual antelope are the methods used by the group to hunt antelope. To weaken its prey, it will constantly bite it on the legs and stomach. Depending on the situation, 
The Wild Dog can run at speeds of up to 66 kilometers per hour for approximately 10 to 60 minutes. Hunting success rates for African Wild Dogs range from 60% to 90%. Another interesting truth about African wild dogs is that they have a hierarchy for food consumption, which differs from the majority of similar carnivores. When it comes to most pack carnivores, the adults eat first, followed by the young. On the other hand, African wild dogs, the young are fed first, followed by the adults. The adults will even vomit their food for the sake of the younger members of the pack back at home. Behavior a pack of dingoes is referred to as a pack. Some dingoes are solitary, but the vast majority are members of social groups. Dingo packs can range in size from 3 to 12 members. During fierce standoffs, each pack chooses which male and female will be the dominant pair in the group. Even though dingoes are extremely loud, they do not bark as much as their canine counterparts. Instead, they frequently howl, with three basic howls and ten variations. Dingoes howl to attract other group members and to scare away intruders from their territory. Dingoes are intelligent animals who are also quite independent, making them more difficult to teach than domestic dogs, although some people still keep them as pets. Wild African dogs are tremendously loud and obnoxious animals. When dogs greet one another, they frequently emit chirps and squeaks like bird cries. Agitated dogs bark and worried puppies occasionally make a howlish hoo sound. Lions typically ignore wild dogs, but if they come upon a dog's kill, they may attempt to scare the dogs away and dine on their bodies. During pack decisions, wild dogs sneeze to cast their vote. Amazing, isn't it? The sneeze is a quick expulsion through the nostrils that expresses agreement or approval of something. When a group gathers and the dominant mating couple sneezes, it's likely that the animals will leave for hunting. It is possible that hunting will take place if a less dominant dog sneezes in front of a large enough number of other dogs. Breeding. The breeding cycle takes place only once a year and lasts approximately three months, usually from March to June. The gestation period is 63 days and the litter size ranges between four and six puppies. The puppies may leave the group as soon as they're weaned or remain with the family group for up to a year. The breeding pattern for wild dogs is like their hunting activity, and it is a fascinating example of cooperation between individuals and groups. Only the dominant pair breeds in each pack, with the other dogs assisting them in rearing their puppies. Because all of the dogs are related to one another, this is done for the pack's good. Genetically, only the most powerful genes are carried on. During the midst of winter in the Ogavanga Delta, breeding takes place. This is the only period during the day when dogs become sedentary. The dominant female gives birth to her offspring in a den after a 10-week gestation period. During the first two weeks, the female suckles the pups and spends considerable periods of time underground with them to ensure their survival. After those two weeks, the puppies venture outside for the first time and begin to dine on meat that has been regurgitated for them by the rest of the group. With the help of the rest of the pack, the pups can feed themselves after around six weeks. So, back to our original question. Which of these two dogs will come out on top in a fight? Even though this is not a horrible matchup, the wild dog appears to have the upper hand. It is slightly larger, heavier, and faster. In addition to this, African wild dogs live in a climate with significantly higher competition than other canines. Dingoes compete with quolls, red foxes, and feral cats for food. On the other hand, wild dogs compete with a variety of predators, including lions, hyenas, and leopards, to mention a few. They also chase larger and more dangerous animals. Which brings us to our final point. Yes, I know that red kangaroos can be pretty deadly, and I respect that. Are they, however, as hazardous as African buffalo or common eland, for example? That's not the case. Putting it all together, I believe that the African wild dog has the physical and mental advantage in this combat and should emerge victorious. According to the statistics, they are some of the most successful hunters in Africa. They are known to strike in huge groups and have been observed attacking in a coordinated fashion. They communicate with one another through vocal signs to tell each other when to split off and attack from different directions.